The saphenous nerve block can be used in combination with the sciatic nerve block for surgery of the knee, leg and the feet. It is easy to identify and block the nerve on the mid-femoral level in a position below the sartorius muscle in close proximity to the femoral artery. So I now want to identify the sartorius muscle. This is uh, seen right above the two vessels and uh, the sartorius muscle goes in oblique direction from the anterior superior iliac spine to the medial epicondylus and uh, below the sartorius muscle we see two vessels. On top it's the femoral artery and below the vein and I can compress the vein. There are two other muscles. In uh, anterior lateral direction we see the medial, vastus medialis muscle and on uh, in the medial posterior direction, right hand side on the ultrasound image, we see the adductor longus, below the adductor longus, longus the adductor magnus. On the anterior lateral side of the artery, we now try to identify the saphenous nerve. And this is a tiny hyperechogenic structure right in the angle between the two muscles, the sartorius muscle and the vastus medialis muscle. And uh, it depends very much on the angle of my ultrasound probe, as also this nerve has anisotropic behavior, but I think I can clearly see the saphenous nerve in this ultrasound image. I wash the site of needle insertion and I provide skin infiltration with local anesthetics. Now I insert the block needle. and I advance the needle to the saphenous nerve. I have to penetrate the muscle membrane. I come now from the sartorius side and I will feel a loss of resistance when the needle is entering the compartment involving the saphenous nerve. Aspiration, I start the injection of local anesthetics and while I inject the saphenous nerve can be seen even more clearly. Here is the, the needle and I move the probe a little bit corded and here the nerve can be clearly seen. So it is nicely surrounded with local anesthetics uh, I only have injected 5 mLs of local anesthetics. Usually I, I would uh, use long-lasting local anesthetics, preferably ropivacain 0.5%. That would be used at our department.